What was it about Oregon that made you want to come here and come out here? Uh, well, initially, I just had a, a gut feeling, you know, talking with uh, Coach Lannon. You know, we spoke on the phone multiple times, and he he really made me trust him, you know what I mean? So, also, uh, also like Bo a lot. I talked to him on the phone a couple of times before I got here. When I got here on a visit, uh, Marcus Harper, he hosted me, and we had a lot of the same mentality and wanting to do big things. So, I know I, this is a place I could come to and kind of get the goals that I want to achieve done. What impact, if any, had you feel when... Clem is recruiting you, but then he gets a different opportunity and Coach Terry comes in. Just That's the transition. I'm sure you probably didn't think about initially that much, but what impact did that have on you? Yeah, I wasn't expecting it, but I wish, you know, Coach uh, Clem nothing but the best. You know, I mean, he, he gave me an opportunity to come to a great place and uh, play some great football, and I'm excited for that. Coach Terry, he's been great with me. You know what I mean? He's uh, He's been great really with the whole group. He brings a nice energy to the room, and uh, I'm, I'm just excited to play with this group and this coaching stuff. Dan talked about you being an early leader in this locker room and kind of showing how to, the young guys how to do it the right way. How do you kind of balance the, you know, being a new guy on the team, being transferring in, but still being a, a veteran in the locker room, being a leader? That's a great question. Um, what I would say is uh, you can't think about it too much. You know what I mean? I came in and I can't just, my, my mentality can't be I'm a new guy here. You know what I mean? I got to come in and kind of assert myself in a way where everybody knows that I'm here to be for this team. You know what I mean? So. What I would say, my mentality is uh, embrace everybody. Like, they really made me feel welcomed immediately. You know what I mean? The coaches and the players. So I never really had that I'm a new guy feeling. And uh, I'm like I said, I just want to embrace the team and see these young guys succeed. What's the spring camp been like for you? Other, you've obviously had experiences with a lot of different spring camps. What is, are there any challenges about it? What's different? Well, well going into a new, a new environment, it's always going to be different things. Um, I say early on, you know, it was obvious that uh, the level of competition had risen, and that forced me to rise my level of competition, which ultimately is what I wanted. And it's been a great thing for me. And I feel like I keep keep on growing as a player because of it. You're working exclusively at right tackle in the spring. Uh, well, everybody's taking reps everywhere, so um, it, it's it, it's important to me to be versatile and whatever. But yeah, I, I like tackle. Mm-hmm. Tell us a little bit about the competition you faced last year. I mean, that pit game in particular. That's it's a really good defensive line. Absolutely. So how how does succeeding in that kind of environment give you that confidence that when the portal and the opportunities come along that all these schools that are after you, that you can play, that you can compete, that you can start mm-hmm. at a place like this? Uh, it is a confidence booster. My mentality is no matter who I'm going against, I know what I have to do, and it, it won't really affect uh, my level of play. Exactly. Uh, I stay true to my fundamentals, my coaching, and I'm going to give it 100% no matter who's across from me. Coming from Rhode Island, you had expectations of what Oregon would be like with the program, the city, the state. Has it met expectations? Has it been different at all from what you expected so far? That's a good question. Um, I, I didn't have a, a whole lot of expectations like going in because, like I said, I, I really just wanted to uh, j- just going in. Was obviously, um, I had a gut feeling on, on the visit, but uh, going in, I didn't know what to expect. But I do really love it here. Like I said, everybody embraced me immediately. I felt at home immediately. I really liked the, uh, the nature here. And the fan love is incredible. That's what I say. Speaking of the fan love, last year Oregon had a great outcome for their spring game. Um, has there been any talk in the program, in the locker room, about, you know, even though it's Dan Lanning's second year, a lot of reason why fans came out is they wanted to see Dan under the first year, about making sure, like, promoting the spring game, making sure there is that fan love so you guys, you're really able to feel that Austin experience before you got to go play in your first game in the fall? Yeah, uh, I don't think that, that'll be a problem. Like, everyone I've talked to around Eugene can't wait for the spring game, and I, I'm very excited to play in it too. So uh, I think it's going to be a good turnout again. Who are some of the edge guys giving you the toughest competition so far? Toughest competition? Uh, young Mateo, he's really good. Um, we, we, we're working. He's getting better every every single day. Uh, Jordan Burch coming in. He's been excellent off the edge. Uh, Brandon Dorless. All those guys are, are real solid edge rushers, for sure. Burch hit you with the spin move yet? With the spin move? Uh, no, I'm, still, I'm still waiting on that. I, I think he know I'm ready for it, so yeah. But no, nah, but, but he, he's a heck of a player. What's it go- well, he's a uh, he's a strong dude. He's not he's he's not your typical like end out there. He's heavy and he's quick. So him being that heavy, sometimes you won't expect, but he's a true athlete, especially for his size. How much does that help you going against a guy like that in practice? Honestly, I, honestly, I love it. Me, me and Jordan are actually pretty uh 
pretty cool off the field. We're, uh, we're friends. So um, so going to practice, but we, we turned on that mode, and now it's time to get better. And it's a real iron sharpens iron vibe going on at practice, especially with, with all the uh, talented ends and, and tackles that we have, too. What does it mean to you to be from where you're from, where our part of the country, man, guys don't, guys don't do D1 mm-hmm. that much. So what does it mean to you to represent in that way? And it, it really does carry some weight differently than, you know, you're not from the Southeast, you're yeah. not from a Texas or a California or something. Absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm from Harlem, New York, and, and I grew up playing football with a lot of guys, and we all had the same dreams, but they, you know, along the way, they, they didn't get to see it through. So I think about them almost every day when I come out here just to practice or, or to games, like being able to play at this level, it just makes me want to keep going for them. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm really, I'm really proud to represent New York. Big part of spring is development. In what way do you feel like you have developed since you've come here? And what kind of developments do you want to see from now until the time fall camp starts? Uh, I feel like my overall IQ as a football player has uh, come, uh, come a long way. Um, just Coach Terry coming from, you know, working with the D-line in the NFL, him, uh, him bringing that knowledge to the offensive line room, really making me look at defenses and, and what might come. So, like I said, my overall IQ as a football player has uh, risen. Obviously, um, what, what I want to uh, continue to develop in, uh, just, just continue to be consistent in my, my everyday grind and just uh, keep working my fundamentals. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.